My no lows, my no nos, I can't tell. Am I the only one who always hears that song whenever they think of Manolo Blahnik? No, are you normal? Okay, fine. Anyways, I do still have an incredible Manolo Blahnik unboxing for you today that I'm gonna share. And I got these shoes at an obscenely low price. And so I figured I'd also share with you my top tips for getting designer luxury shoes at a great price. So today I received a delivery of my long awaited, just kidding, it's been a couple days, Manolo Blahniks that I just ordered online that I got for an amazing price. I mean, seriously, like I can't believe how cheap they were. And the reason they were so cheap is because I got them from the real real. Spoiler alert, that is one of my top tips for getting incredible designer shoes on discount is shopping pre-loved sites like The Real Real, Farfetch, and Fashion File. Now, you're probably like, ew, Lily, why would you wear pre-loved shoes? Well, the thing is, these sites actually often have brand new or like new shoes, but again, for like half the price. Because the cool thing about luxury designer shoes is they're not like handbags, where handbags can often sell for even more than retail in the pre-loved market. Shoes actually sell for way less. So over the past few years, I've actually started buying more pre-loved shoes that are, you know, like new, new or in like pristine condition from these uh, secondhand sites, just so I can get the great discount and also to be a little bit more eco-friendly. So that way you're not putting, you know, new shoes out there in the environment. So I love the Real Real and Fashion File. I think they give you incredible deals. Farfetch is a little bit more expensive, but Farfetch sometimes does have some harder to come by items but they do charge a little bit more for them. And the great thing about all these sites is that they guarantee authenticity so you know you are getting real, real, real shoes. So let's do the unboxing because I know that's what you're all here for. I will say, okay, so these shoes were originally in the Manolo Blahnik price range. So we know that those shoes often start around 600, 695 and can go up to over $1,000. So that's how much the retail of these shoes were. But guess how much I got them for? $84. I mean, that's even good for like a pair of just like Colt Hans. You know what I mean? So can't believe that I found these for that price. Part of the reason I think they were so cheap is because you'll notice here they're in the Real Real dust bag, which they always provide. So they didn't actually come with the Manolo Blahnik dust bag or box but I've actually started throwing away my boxes, recycling my boxes whenever I buy shoes just because they take up so much space. And I have a really big closet. So if I've run out of space, like there really is no more space in my closet. But they'll always tell you in the description if the item comes with dust bag, box, you know, authenticity card if you're buying a handbag. And these ones I knew I wasn't getting those and I was totally fine with that. Cause like for $84, how can you beat it? So let me get these out. And these are a classic uh, Manolo Blahnik style, but they're in a funky material and pattern, which I think makes them a little bit more casual, a little bit more trendy, and just like a little bit more now in general, given like the current environment that we're all dressing a little bit more casual. So I got, da -da -da -da, oh my God, they're beautiful. Wait, wait, oh, did you see it? I got the, Manolo Blahnik BB pumps in, oh gosh, is it 110 or 120 millimeter height? I'll put it down below. In denim cheetah print. Look at these shoes. I mean, they are in absolutely pristine condition. I mean, there is not like a single mark on them. Okay, so there is, there is one little freckle here. But other than that, if you look inside the shoes, I mean, they look brand new and there's like, there is absolutely nothing on the material. And then even if you look at the sole and it looks like they might've been resold, but even if you look at that again, totally in great condition, there's one tiny little black mark here. But other than that for $84, I mean, these would be even worth it for like $400. I mean, these are, I love the BB pumps. Okay, real talk. It is really hard to find 
luxury designer pumps that are comfortable and sexy and that you can walk in. Cause like you all know, Louboutins are really narrow. So if you have just even a regular width foot, like walking in a socate is nearly impossible. And so a lot of times you still wanna get a pump that makes you feel, you know, dressed up and attractive and all that, but that you can walk in and that's comfortable and still stylish. And so I've always found that the BB pump works really well because I don't have a narrow foot. I don't have a wide foot, but I definitely have a average width foot. And so for me, the BB pumps are so comfortable. I can wear these all day and feel great. And another thing I like about the BB pumps is the heel. With Manolo Blahnik in general, the shape of their heel is slightly different than that of most other luxury brands because instead of being like a rounded shape, it's like a slightly rounded square shape which I think like that angular element on it just makes it a little bit more sexy. So I am so excited to wear these. Oh my God. I mean, gosh, I just love cheetah and I love denims and I love pumps. So like these are perfect. Ugh. What do you think of these? Do you like them? Are, like, are these something you would wear or is the reason they were $84 because no one would ever wear like a denim cheetah print pump and I'm the only weirdo in this world? But even when I saw these, like I had seen, I can't remember where, but I had seen like a slingback version of these in like a lighter denim. I'll see if I can find a picture of them. I'd seen them a while ago and I loved them, but I couldn't find them for sale anywhere in my size. So I just kind of forgot about them. And then when I saw these, I was like, yes, I will be buying these. Take my money. So thank you, The Real Real. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video by The Real Real, although like, call me. Uh, but I mean, really, I just, I do shop at The Real Real and I do really like their items and I've always been happy with every single purchase that I've gotten there. I think they do a really good job. So those are the pumps. But so let's talk about other than shopping, pre-loved sites, still buying brand new items there. How can you get designer shoes at a discount? Well, the first thing that you can do is shop the big semi-annual sales. So in America, those happen right around June and again, right after Christmas. So like the last five days of the year from like December 25th to January 1st. That's when all of the big department stores, including every single luxury store, puts almost all of their seasonal styles and even some of their classics on sale. So Bergdorf's, Barney's did, but like RIP. <laughs> <laughs> Saks does, Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, all of them. And I will actually say, so they always start at like a 30% discount and then a few days later they go to 40 and then 50 and then 60. And then obviously you've got the best assortment when they're at 30% off and then as things start to sell, it's time you get to like 50, 60, there's really not as many styles left, but you can still find some gems, so still go. Now I will say at the Christmas time sale, the one that happens the day after Christmas, they do actually start the sale like either on the 23rd or 24th where all the designer items go like 30% off. And that's because it's too late really for most people to get Christmas presents, but still go in store to look at what's coming up on sale. They might not have them online yet, but in store you can see what's gonna be in the sale. And so they'll be like 30% off right before Christmas, but afterwards they go to like 40, 50. Gonna, they sell out really quick because everyone knows that's when the deals are. So just keep in mind, June and December are the times that you wanna go to these stores and look both online and in person to get the deals. But I want to emphasize one point, go in person if you can. Even if it's a bit of a drive, like, you know, maybe two, three hours, because a lot of brands have trademarks and copyrights around their branding, their brand name, their product names. So other companies can't always use their brand names and their product names in advertising. So like, you know, when you Google something and shopping ads kind of pop up, you'll notice that it's only either the brand itself or like pre-loved sites that do it but any sites that the brand directly deals with, i.e. Neiman, Nordstrom, Saks, etc., they wanna make sure that the relationship stays good between, you know, Prada, Valentino, and Nordstrom. So they make sure that they're respecting the advertising rules and that they're not using the brand's names because the brands also don't want you to advertise 
a, an item at a lower price than what they're selling it for because then you become their own competitor and they don't want that. So what happens is a lot of stuff ends up going on sale in person, like in the physical store earlier and they'll take deeper discounts in store but you can't see it unless you go. And every store's got a different assortment. So just know it's not gonna match what you see online, but seriously, go in person. And also, if you're in New York, be sure to go to Bergdorf's and Saks, again, in June and in December, because they, it turns into a madhouse there. They put racks and racks and racks up for sale, like way more than in other cities, because obviously they've got a much bigger assortment. So you can get some high ticket items on sale. So. Can't recommend shopping the seasonal sales enough. Also, the great thing about these stores is that they also have discount versions of the store. So for Saks Fifth Avenue, it's off Fifth. For Nordstrom, it's Nordstrom Rack. For Neiman Marcus, it's Last Call. And they get a ton of the items that don't sell in the first sale, because y'all didn't know to go in store and go look for those items. They then just pass them off to the discount version. So, I mean, I've gotten Jimmy Choo's, I've gotten Ferragamo shoes, you can get anything at these stores. So you just need to go. So sometimes they're a standalone store, like Nordstrom Rack a lot of time is a standalone store. But for instance, Off Fifth is usually like in a little outlet center. So just look and see if there's anything, you know, within driving distance of where you live. And if you can go during the week, cause that's when they restock on items and they always kind of sell out over the weekends. So try to go during the week if you can. And that kind of brings me to my next point is that you need to go find some designer outlets. Now, I didn't know that not everyone knows that designer outlets exist. They're just not as common as your regular outlets. So for instance, I live in the Bay Area and the ones closest to me, are, I think are about an hour away in Livermore. And they have literally outlets of Burberry, Prada, Gucci, Bottega Veneta, Stuart Weitzman, and they even have contemporary brands, you know, like Vince, uh, Rag and Bone, Seven for All Mankind. So you need to go to the designer outlets, but there are designer outlets all over. I know they have them in Las Vegas. I know there are the Woodbury ones in New York. And again, a lot of what I'm speaking to is specific to America, but the same concept applies around the world. Like for instance, if you go to Bister Village in the UK, they've got the same type of designer situation. And I think theirs has like Fendi, Balenciaga, et cetera, et cetera. So go find some designer outlets. You will not be disappointed. And then in addition to the pre-loved websites that we talked about earlier, there are also discount sites that used to be flash sale sites, but I would say that flash sale has kind of gone away as a business model. Now they have ongoing assortments where they just kind of tend to highlight particular you know, product pools or price points or categories or brands, but they always have the items. So those are websites like Gilt and Rulala. I got my Fendi Can You bag right after it came out, like just a few months after it came out. I had gone to try it on in the Fendi store here in the Bay Area. I got it for $1,000. And y'all know how much that bag sells for now. So. Those sites are amazing. They either buy their items directly from the brand or they buy them from authorized resellers. So you know you're getting authentic items and they always come with like, you know, dust bag, box, all that. So it's like you're buying legit items. And then there's a flash sale Instagram account that I, I would be remiss if I did not mention it. I wanna say they do international shipping. I know they do shipping in the US and to Europe. The prices are a little different depending on where you live. Um, but I think you can always just like DM them and reach out like if you live somewhere else to see if they'll ship to you. So it is called Amuse. I think their Instagram is called Amuse Inc. And I'll just put it here so you can see. But Amuse, again, shops directly from the brands and from authorized resellers. So that way you can get designer items on a mega discount, but they don't sell them through the website. They just really sell them through Instagram stories. I think they're working on building a website, but for whatever reason, it's not up yet. So you just have to kind of visit their Instagram stories all the time, but they have not just like, you know, last season items, but they also have current season items at a discount. This week I've seen like, you know, padded cassette bags from Bottega Veneta. I have seen, you know, the monolith boots from Prada, anything and everything. You can think of tons of stuff from like Fendi, Givenchy, Balenciaga. So that is like 
one of the places I always tell my girlfriends who love designer to shop. I've gotten a Prada Sydney bag from there. I think I also purchased my Celine, my black Celine card holder from there. But seriously, go follow Amuse now. I will say it is a little bit like drugs though. So sometimes I have to unfollow Amuse so I'm not like looking at their stories every day tempted to buy things because there's a lot of great stuff there on discount. So those are my tips for how to get designer shoes like these Manolo Blahnik BB pumps on sale. I hope you found it helpful and let me know if you've got any other sites or Instagram accounts down in the comments below that you use to get good deals because like we need to share, we need to help each other out so that we can all get the best deals and still look like Fly AF. Now if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you want to get all the latest videos about all things shopping. I really appreciate it. My name's Lily and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.